It is September, and you know what that means? It's time for another Nintendo Direct. What are we gonna see? That's the million dollar question. That's the question of today's video. It's I guess you're gonna have to stick around and find out. <laughs> yeah. We literally finished filming this video half an hour before Nintendo announced that blasted Mario Direct. But that doesn't mean there's not going to be a September full-blown Nintendo Direct. So god damn it, we're going to do it anyway. In the last Direct, we got all this information about these like smaller titles like the Princess Peach game and the Luigi's Mansion remaster that's apparently coming. And we think that Nintendo just did that to kind of ride the train of the Mario movie. Yeah. So hopefully in this direct is where we'll actually see a bit more than like, hey, there's a Princess Peach game. Maybe like a little trailer, maybe just a little more of it, maybe a window. Yeah, just exactly. Window. Just something. We're not expecting a date, but some little tidbits would be nice. Right. So the Pokemon DLC has been advertised heaps in a lot of presentations recently. The last Pokemon Presents presentation had like a 10, what felt like a 10 minute mm. trailer. Okay, so what I'm kind of thinking is it depends when the September Direct is. If the September Direct is like a couple of days or something after the Pokemon DLC drops, then I think maybe they'll slip a little something in there, like maybe like a new Pokemon or something just to keep just to Interest. say, hey, th this is out, mm. go get it right now. It's, it's been out for three days, like, yeah, go exactly. grab it. Yeah, agreed. But if the Nintendo Direct comes out, like, ages after, probably not. Yeah, it probably won't get anything. Yeah. If the Nintendo Direct comes out before, man, they'll push Pokemon, Yeah, of that's true, there's always In something In fact, Pokemon. they'll probably specifically release this Direct before the Pokemon DLC, just so they can put it in and say, hey, it's coming out in two days. Yeah, you're probably right. We always get a Nintendo Online drop, something like this, don't we? Mm -hmm. So, a new 64 game or a new Game Boy game, mm -hmm. Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance coming to the online system. Yeah. I think that's a pretty safe bet. But these can be Twitter drops as well, so I don't know, not 100%. It has to be something good it to does be in a direct, be doesn't good. it? Yeah, something real juicy. So, mm, hopefully we get that. Maybe a little collection of Game Boy games. Hmm. Maybe some. Pokemon on there? So maybe, I don't know, Leaf Green, Fire Red, some Emerald. I would replay those on Now this on kind of just leads me into my next thing. We're not getting that because the Pokemon company can just drop those on the eShop for like 15, 20 bucks a piece and people are gonna buy them, right? I don't know if they would do that though. They probably won't, but they could and make money. So they're not just gonna okay. put them in Switch Online. The Pokemon company wants money. Everyone wants money. It's exactly the same reason why we're not getting a GameCube online service. Sorry for anyone who's like been holding out hope for that, but with the release and releases of like Metroid Prime and Pikmin 1 and 2, and they're releasing for what, like? 60 bucks or something. Yeah, 60 Australian dollars. So I think that's like 40 or 50 if you're in the US. They're just gonna do that. <laughs> People yeah. buy them. They're yeah. like still highly rated games and they do stand up to the test of time. They do, mm. yeah. So, I think we can see some more of those in this Direct. Yeah, some more remasters, GameCube yeah, remasters. Yeah, remasters slash remakes. I think that's a pretty safe bet to have if we're gonna see anything GameCube. It's gonna be something like that. Yeah, I and do agree. We have a couple of ideas of what, what they might be thinking here. Mm -hmm. So Metroid Prime 2 is an obvious pick because yeah. they just did Metroid Prime 1 and it kind of sold like hotcakes. Yep. So that would be a good one, but maybe like, a Star Fox or an F-Zero game because we haven't seen any new entries in those series for too long, some may say. So maybe like an F-Zero GX would be a low risk way to revive the series. Or like Star Fox Assault, I feel like that would be really fun. I would replay that today. Nintendo doesn't want to just revive these franchises with a fresh game because people might not be interested after like 20 years of like not much. You've got to gauge the interest. Yeah, so to gauge an interest, it's a relatively low risk way of doing it, but just like dumping a GameCube remake or remaster onto the Switch. And if it sells like hotcakes, then hey, we might get something new on the like Switch's successor. But if it doesn't, then, you know, sorry, but kiss your F-Zero goodbye. Oh. 
I'm sick of talking about F-Zero and Star Fox in these videos, man. Maybe Nintendo's just moved on. Sorry. True. Maybe. Sorry. Like, Mario Kart's better than... I um, don't know. <laughs> F-Zero. Piss me off. You're not a fan? No, I mean, it's good, but it's just like, I just don't care. It's over. Okay, <laughs> all right. Okay, it's over. okay, okay. okay. <laughs> over. Jesus. <laughs> Well, I'm still holding out hope for Twilight Princess and Wind Waker. That rumored double pack that was supposedly was meant to happen forever ago? No. No? They're not going to do a double pack. You reckon individual? It goes back to what you were saying before. Everyone loves money, especially Nintendo. Yeah, but they could charge full price for a double pack, whereas individually, I, I guess they could charge... They could charge what, $60 each. Full price is 80 here in Australia. They could charge 60 each for the individuals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, maybe we'll get that. Definitely Either way, more. though, we're going to buy both of those, aren't we? Sucker! Yeah, I would enjoy a double pack, but I just don't think... I just don't think it's going to happen because they're both, it's not like either of them are tiny games that they need to be beefed out with like a whole nother experience. No, no, no. Like both of them kind of like stand up on their own. So I don't think they need to be a double pack and I don't think they will be a double pack. I know that Laura's holding out hope here, but I personally don't think we're going to see those this year anyway. Maybe we'll like round out the Switch's life cycle with something like that. But I think the Zelda game that they really want to push when it comes to the holidays is still Tears of the Kingdom. That's true. So I reckon this director is going to give us a little, little taste test of what we might see in the way of a DLC. Not necessarily dropping now, but maybe it'll drop in November. And then that'll be their big push into the holidays. Like, hey, you can get Zelda with the DLC. Mm. We'll like include it for however much or i wouldn't be surprised if it was like shadow dropped though because i think it was three months between the dlc and breath of the wild and it's been about three months now so mm. i could see it being like shadow drop yeah like they could the shadow drop it at the direct yeah that's true or give us like two days or something yeah yeah like a week or something and make sure you finish your adventure because we've got dlc drop it now because christmas is still it's still like a decent ways away yeah this is just where they're gonna announce all that stuff though yeah you know? So I know we kind of just moved on from ports and remasters, but everybody wants that last Wii U game that's still stuck on that console to come over to the Switch. I'm of course talking about Xenoblade Chronicles X. Everybody just wants the full series on Switch and rightly so. We didn't have a Wii U. We no. can't play it. There's a really good video by our friend Britta from Food for Dogs all about Xenoblade Chronicles X that I really want to watch, but I can't watch it because spoilers. So if Nintendo does this for me, I can then watch Food for Dogs awesome Xenoblade Chronicles X video. That's all I want. Is that so hard, Nintendo? I know, come on, man. We just want to launch you a video. <laughs> I do feel like we were talking about this relatively recently. I think it was in our Games That Deserve Sequels video, but Donkey Kong, it's still crickets and Donkey Kong Land. <laughs> there was a rumored Donkey Kong game in the pipeline somewhere like last year, and then we just haven't heard anything about it since. Shame. It could be his time. And you know, Kirby and the Forgotten Land kind of revitalized that series for a lot of people, me included, and they could do that with Donkey Kong. I think that a 3D Donkey Kong game would be pretty fun. Oh, you are speaking my language <laughs> right now. I love me some 3D platformers. So if Donkey Kong got the Kirby in the Forgotten Land treatment, then sign us up. Count me in, dude. And there's a lot of indie games that we could hear about. I can think maybe Hades 2, we could get some news about that because mm -hmm. that's coming out soon ish. Supposedly. Yeah. And we haven't seen a lot about it, and I would like to see more. I think. <sighs> okay, so I was going to say Silk, Silk Song but maybe that wouldn't be debuted at the Nintendo Direct. Nah, it seems that Microsoft has got some snatched like, advertising it up, right? rights for that. Yeah. yeah. It's been snatched up. But one of my favorite parts about these Directs is just like watching it and being like, oh, there's a small indie that I didn't know about. Mm -hmm. Because Nintendo does like to put these smaller titles in next to their giant ones in Directs. There's and always a... gonna be some surprises. Last time there was a Direct, we got that, that yo-yo 3D platformer looking thing. I'm so down for that. Not down enough to remember its name, yeah. but still so down for that, you know? And 
we're gonna get something like that here as well. There, yeah. There's gonna be some small indie titles or like maybe double A budget titles that just to get a blindside everyone we have no idea about. Well, that's all the rumors that we've heard floating around the internet. Mm -hmm. But what kind of dark recesses of the internet do you go to? Well, that is a loaded question. It is, <laughs> but I just wanna hear about your Nintendo rumors, not any of the other weird no. things that we know that the internet Now I'm contains. intrigued. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I ruined it. Those are our guesses anyway. Let us know your guesses down below and don't forget to subscribe. We'll be covering the actual direct when it does drop. So mm -hmm. you're gonna wanna hit that subscribe button to hear all of our thoughts. Let us know what you're keen for as well. Even if you don't think we'll see it, it's always nice to just hold out hope for that one little something something. That's right. Until next time, I'm Tom. I'm Laura, bye.